Hello, in this video we are going to cover the details of an electric aircraft that is most likely to be the first personal aerial vehicle available for purchase and it won't cost you an arm and a leg. It is the opener's Blackfly. The aircraft doesn't look like any other electric aircraft developed so far and yet it is the simplicity of its design principles that make it very safe, affordable and effective. On this channel, Electric Aviation, we aim to bring for you all the latest developments from the world of sustainable aviation. Subscribe to get all of our latest updates. The Opener's Blackfly is a wheel-free EVTOL aircraft that has a rub strip on its belly, allowing it to land anywhere in grass, asphalt, snow, ice and even in water. The use of tandem wings gives the aircraft a relatively small footprint with longer range compared to a pure multi-rotor aircraft. The Blackfly is just 4.15 meter wide and 4.08 meter in length, occupying space of less than two cars parked side by side. The latest iteration of the Blackfly, the V3, has a narrower fuselage compared to its predecessor, the V2, which makes the design sleeker, lighter and more aerodynamic. It also reduces the space for transport and storage of the aircraft and not to mention the footprint allowing it to land in compact spaces such as rooftops. In the short takeoff and landing mode, it just requires 3 feet or about 0.91 meters to take off and to land too. The Blackfly is powered by 8 motors with propellers of 0.91 meters length each that are spread across the tandem wings. After the vertical takeoff ascent is completed, the aircraft transitions to forward flight and at that point the wings provide the required lift. The aerodynamic interface between the forward and back wings significantly affects the pitch and roll movements of any tandem wing scheme aircraft. Therefore, the pitch and roll is controlled by varying the speed of the propulsors in conjunction with the elevons present on each of the wings. The presence of winglets prevents the wingtip vortices. The front wing has a lower angle of attack compared to the rear wing for safety reasons. At low speeds, the front wing goes into a stall that allows the aircraft to nosedive, thereby increasing the airspeed and subsequently allowing stall recovery. The black fly cannot be categorized as either a tilt wing or a tilt rotor. The whole aircraft instead tilts forward during the cruise mode. This eliminates the need for wing or rotor tilting mechanism, making the aircraft lighter and simpler. The difference in motor speeds controls everything. The 8 motor propeller configuration offers redundancy and in the event of a propulsor failure or even that of two propulsors in a quadrant, the aircraft can still land safely. The Blackfly has a triple modular redundancy for the flight system. It can fly a user from point to point without requiring any input from the pilot. For this reason, and the fact that it falls in the ultralight category, one will be able to fly it without a pilot's license. The aircraft can be flown both remotely and autonomously, making it useful for rescue missions. Also, the aircraft can be summoned from a remote location to transport you to your destination. The Blackfly is in its third iteration. The second iteration has more than 10,000 flight miles under its belt with over 500 successful takeoffs and landings. Let's now look at all the design elements of the Blackfly starting with the propulsion system first. The standout feature of the Blackfly is its motors that were designed in-house by Marcus Lang, Opener's founder and CEO. They weigh less than 2 kilograms each and yet provide a thrust force of 59 kilograms. Theoretically, this gives the Black Fly a maximum takeoff weight of 472 kilograms, but with flow interaction losses and safety considerations, the maximum takeoff weight specified is 255 kilograms. Nonetheless, it has ample payload capacity of 113 kilograms. The absence of the landing gear is where the real gains are made. The black fly can land gently on its belly and its weight is also distributed by its end plate type winglets. Although it has amphibious capabilities, but it is mainly designed to operate from grassy areas. Nearly the whole aircraft is made of carbon composite, making the airframe very light with an empty weight of 142 kilograms. 
Another impressive feature is the distributed energy storage with the distributed propulsion. The Black Fly doesn't have a massive centralized battery pack. In fact, it has eight separate battery modules that sit right behind the motor and are embedded in the wing. This gives the aircraft multiple advantages. First, it eliminates the need for long and heavy current carriers or bus bars between the battery and the motors. A distributed system gives safety to the battery pack in that if one cell fails, it doesn't bring down the whole battery pack with it. The weight is also distributed which gives flexibility in adjusting the center of gravity of the aircraft. Note that in the case of large bulky battery pack, it has to be precisely located for maintaining the proper center of gravity location. Finally, having separate spread out modules also makes a thermally efficient battery because the heat generated in a cell is not passed on to or is insulated by other cells. There is greater exposed area for the heat to be removed, thus eliminating the need for liquid cooling and in turn helps to maximize the pack level energy density of the battery. The Black Fly comes with two battery pack configurations, an 8 kilowatt hour system for the US due to weight restrictions in the ultralight category and a 12 kilowatt hour system that will be sold in Canada and other parts of the world. Apart from the weight, there are height and speed restrictions too. For the US variant, the speed is limited to 62 miles per hour and the range is just 25 miles. For the heavier variant, the specs list out a 40 plus mile range with a 80 miles per hour maximum speed. While the range may feel very low, but at least in Britain, 68% of the trips are under 5 miles. This means that even other than recreational flights, there is great utility for this personal aerial vehicle. The Black Fly doesn't take up a lot of space. One fact that is overlooked is the astonishing energy economy of travel. According to Opener, a mile of distance can be covered for just 245 watt hour of energy in the cruise mode as compared to an electric car which can consume 270 watt hour per mile. The batteries can be charged for just $2. This aircraft has the potential to be as disruptive as Tesla cars were for the automotive industry provided that the regulations catch up with its utility. Experts have suggested that initially allowing the Black Fly to operate in the countryside for commuting could build up enough confidence for it to be allowed in suburban and later urban environments. It's only been a couple of years since Opener has come out of hiding and revealed the aircraft they have been developing for nearly a decade. With time, more data will be available for deeper aerodynamic analysis of the aircraft. For now, it is assumed that Opener is using 250 watt hour per kilogram pouch cells. If they were to swap it with the latest 300 watt hour per kilogram cells, then they could add 20% more range to the aircraft. In the end, it has to be said that Opener's Black Fly, with its simple, effective design, offers a great template for other electric aircrafts to follow. And with this, the video is concluded. If you learned something from this video, please do give it a thumbs up. You can add any information regarding this aircraft in the comment section to get a discussion going. Thank you for your attention.